Hi, I'm uh, Gerard Bardell. Uh, we're a second generation um, um, broadacre uh, farmers uh, and we're 10 kilometres west of Horsham. We, uh, we, we pretty much uh, work uh, by ourselves uh, during the season, but then at peak times, uh, working with my brother-in-law. So uh, we help each other out at cropping time and harvest time. Uh, and we also like to share machinery as well. So uh, that allows us to sort of spread our costs over a, a greater uh, area. Um, and then also um, allows us to sort of have uh, better quality machinery as a result. So we, we do like to, uh, timeliness is really important for us. So making sure we can get the, the crop in on time and getting it off on time and spray it on time is really, really important. So um, yeah, so, so we help each other out there. And then during those peak times, we also have a, a couple of um, casual staff that come in and help us as well. So. Um, um, we've got uh, those guys, a couple of, uh, couple of uh, retired farmers are coming to help us, which is fantastic. And I've also got some children now getting at an age where they're pretty keen to jump on the tractor and, uh, and help out. So it's all hands on deck uh, uh, during the busy periods, which is generally for us uh, cropping time and harvest time. We farm in a 425 mil rainfall environment, um, so dry land. And basically we grow a range of crops, which includes uh, canola, um, wheat, barley, uh, chickpeas, uh, lentils. Farming's uh, just such a, a, a wonderful uh, business to be in. Like I've sort of grown up being uh, lucky enough to grow up being on the farm, and um, and now I'm lucky enough to have a go at the farm as well. So it's been uh, been fantastic. Um, look, no two years are the same, and uh, it really does challenge uh, uh, challenge you from year in year out. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So Dad's always dealt uh, with traction ag. Um, and I guess with Dad passing on, uh, it's been uh, uh, an opportunity, I guess, for, for me to get more involved with Traction Ag. I've uh, really valued, I guess, the, uh, the relationship that we do have with Traction Ag. Um, I really enjoy uh, the fact that um, they communicate very well. Um, they, they have a weekly newsletter, which, is, which has been fantastic. They uh, give you a lot of opportunities to get to see and feel their machinery, so um, with drive days and, and the like. And they're just a really good team. So uh, yeah, really enjoy that side of it. And probably most importantly, you know, we can trust them. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's something that's really important to us. Now the machine's going really well. We've got some nice capacity. Uh, we've got reliability, um, and we've got some really nice backup there in uh, in town with traction ag. So it's been fantastic for us uh, on the farm. We're second generation, so we're still in a, a growth mode, I guess. Um, and we're just basically trying to get uh, become more efficient. So we're sort of moving from a a nine metre, 27 metre controlled traffic system to a 12 metre, 36 metre system. So um, the, the harvester and, and the front are the first uh, update there. So we'll look to update our, our boom spray. Uh, we'll look to update our uh, drill or our, our disc seeder as well. So um, we'll certainly be updating in the in the not too distant future. And um, yeah, provided the season sort of run with us, um, we'll continue to uh, up, upgrade our machinery. Uh, well, technology and farming's, you know, pretty exciting really. Um, you know, I just think back to when dad grew up, he tells the story, him and his brother, when they used to get home from school up at Bueller at, uh, and they'd take the saddles off the horses. And now, you know, that same person was having 400 horses uh, basically being steered through a paddock in an air-conditioned comfort by, um, by satellites in the sky. So, you know, technology's just been incredible with what's happened in farming. And that that's only set to continue. So, um, you know, some of the uh, automation that we're seeing is, um, is pretty exciting. Um, some of the robotics that's about to come through is, is very exciting. And just some of the sensors and um, how we can utilize uh, better information from not just the soil, but also from the plants uh, and then the machines as well. Um, I think it's uh, the next generation. It's pretty exciting for uh, agriculture.